Now let's take a look at the swatches palette. You'll notice that by default it's embedded in the same little window that we saw the color palette just a second ago. But here we can access the default swatches inside of Photoshop. And as you'll notice, if I click on any one of these, it'll give me the use of that color with any of the other tools that I'll be using with in just a short time. So as you can see here, you can pick out some of these defaulted colors. But let's say you were able to um, pick something that you wanted that you knew was not within these defaulted colors, and you wanted to add this particular color to your color palette, you could do so by just clicking on the Create New Swatch of Foreground Color. So if I do that, you'll notice here, and when I mouse over these, most of them have names already. This one that I just added said Swatch 1. Well, if I were to double click that, uh, you'll notice I could name this whatever I wanted to. I could call this Ducky 1 instead. And by doing so, you've added this, and when we mouse over, it'll have its little name Ducky 1 as well. We can delete swatches just by dragging them to the trash can, and that deleted it directly. Also, remember that we'll be able to access many different options right here as well. And in so doing, you can reset these swatches at any given time, but you can also load other external swatches that are located anywhere on your desktop. You can save particular swatches that you've made and then load them when you want to. You can save swatches for exchange. You can replace swatches. But also notice that we come with a number of default swatches in here, specifically addressing the print industry. And you can see that if you were to click on any one of these, if you said OK, it would replace the existing color swatches. If you say Append, as you'll see here, it's added them to the existing color swatches. And now you'll notice I have many, many different swatches available here. Uh, for use. Um, also, if I wanted to, for example, I could add some of these uh, Pantone pastels. And notice here, there's a few of them in place. Now, if I wanted to remove all of these and get back to the originals, I could just say Reset Swatches. Replace current swatches with the default colors. OK. Instead of Append, I'm just going to say OK and save the changes to the current swatches before replacing them? No thank you. So now we're back to the originals that we had to begin with, and we can position that wherever we want. So that's the color swatches, and that's how they work inside of Photoshop.